Today we will make this silly image together. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. You already know what we will do, so let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and today we will switch this hat for this balloon right here and we will do something with the neck and that's basically it. But still, you will learn a lot of interesting tips, tricks and techniques from this one. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. Okay, so first thing that we need to do here is to extract this hat out of the background. There are several ways how you can do it. I will use the object select tool and just select this and basically everything is cool. If I press Q on a keyboard, I will see that these parts of the hair are not pretty good selected and we need to refine that. So I will go to select and mask and just go and paint with the brush around the hair and Photoshop will automatically clean the background for me. So I will just fast forward this part. Okay, so this is it. And now what I can do, I can create a layer mask by clicking right here and I have this on a separate layer, but now I only have a hat, I need a body back. So for that, I will just duplicate this layer, Control or Command J and call this one hat and lower one body. And for the lower one, I will just invert the mask, Control or Command I, and this is it. Now I have two layers, hat separately with this hole right here that we need to fill. So first thing, what I like to do here, let's just move the hat right on the balloon. And let's just refine a few things here. I will go to the layer mask, go with the brush, a little bit harder brush around 80%, black color and make sure to go to 100% opacity. And I will fast forward this. What I will do now, I will just refine this parts of the neck and this part of the chin and that's basically it. Okay, so this is it. Just a quick job right here and we have the hat on a balloon, we will deal with that later. So first let's fill this hole with a gray color. So we'll go right here and there are several ways how we can do it. First, I need to remove the layer mask. So before that, I just want to go on the layer mask. Again, a little bit harder brush, this is okay. And with the black color, I just want to make the next straight something like, like this. For now, maybe I will use this, maybe I will use a little bit different part. I will see that later, but for now this is pretty cool. We'll just erase these parts too and fill it, fill it with a gray color. Okay, this is okay. Right click on the mask, apply layer mask and this is it. Now we can do this on several different ways. We can go with uh, the selection tool, just select everything like, like this, let me see, like this and maybe with the lasso tool and hold shift to include this into selection. And now what we can do, we can press shift and backspace and just go with the content aware tool and just fill it with that. And it can, you can see it's something crazy going on here. Now we can use stamp tool or clone stamp tool or maybe healing brush and just go and fix that. There is one way, another way is maybe to go again with this is selected, add it and content aware fill. This is a newer dialog box, a newer version of Photoshop. And we have this here. And you can see some crazy things going on here too. Let's unzoom it, it's too much zoomed. Okay, but that's because everything that is green is included in sampled area. So I want to remove that part by painting on that. So I don't want this to be sampled from the body. You will see this will change now, this is different. And also the balloon, I don't want balloon, but it's not included, it's cool. But now this is a little bit messy because Photoshop only sampling from the gray parts and it's a little bit confused. So I will actually leave it like this. I will press OK and go back in Photoshop and select only this part right here and try to use this patch tool and just, oh yeah, I need to go to merge those two layers together, body and body copy, press Control Command E, so we have again one layer, and go with the patch tool and just select these things, and let's try to fix this. So this is pretty cool, it's not the best, but now we need to use the clone stamp tool, again on a new layer, I will fast forward this because I just need to sample the area and just paint, sample, paint, 
and this is pretty much it. Okay guys, so what I did, I did a little bit with the clone stamp tool, then I used the brush tool and just sample the color for around the area and just paint several strokes here and there. And this is pretty decent. Of course, we can do it a little bit better, but I will stop here for now. I use really soft brush and 10% uh, opacity and that's it. I will go here to this layer, create a layer mask and go back here to the neck part. And I will use a little bit harder brush, smaller one, and I will just remove with 100% opacity, remove parts that I actually paint on the body. For the time sake of this tutorial, I'm a little bit rushing here, but for you at home, when you're trying to recreate something like this, if you have something to do similar, invest a little bit more time and no problem, you'll make it perfect. Okay, so this is pretty much it. We removed the background, we painted back the gray color. Also, you can see some patches here and there. What we can do, there is a really cool trick. We can go right here and uh, say filter, blur and Gaussian blur and just blur everything a little bit more so to remove those patches and then go back to layer mask and and just delete like like this. Okay, I will not worry about these parts too much because we will cover it with uh, something so don't don't worry too much about that. Let me see. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, so now I can actually merge these things together, these two layers, Control Command E and name this body. And now let's go and concentrate to the head. So now what I will do, I will transform the head, Control Command T, right click and flip horizontal. This is perfect. This is first thing. Second thing, I want to get rid of the layer mask, actually everything except the head. So right click, apply layer mask, and now I have only the head right here. Again, I will make it bigger, Control or Command T, and just make it bigger. I want to head to be here instead of the balloon, so even bigger, why not? And the chin will be right there, right there. Okay, let's make this bigger. And just want to make this curvature of the head and the chin similar. So this is pretty nice. Maybe to rotate it back here. And I want to use the part of the balloon as a part of the face. So this is why I'm calculating how I want to do this. So maybe something like this. Yeah, let's press OK. And now I need to colorize the balloon in the color of the skin. So to do that, I will go back to the body and uh, go here to, 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 to quick selection tool. OK, and just quickly select everything that is a balloon, everything that is pinkish here. And actually, I will select this part of the plastic here because it's still pink color that I want to get rid of it. This is pretty nice. And now what I like to do, I will create a new hue and saturation adjustment layer. It will automatically make a mask and everything that I change, I will change only the balloon color. All right, so I need to bring the head back and go here and try to figure out the color. So I will go with the colorize tool and I will go something like this. And also I will boost the saturation a little bit. So this looks nice, similar like this, but I need to make few things darker. Also, what is not a good thing here, guys, is that I invert flip the head on the other side. And now this part is more shadowy and this part is more, more uh, bright and the body is opposite. So if you want to go with a different thing, you can go like this and put it something like this, like she's looking on the other side right there. And this is pretty cool too. So now the light is and everything is matching. So, or you can paint back the light. It's a little bit uh, time consuming job, but is doable. Okay, I will go with this to match everything, the light and everything. And now I will go to the head, create a layer mask, go with really soft brush and maybe first 50% opacity and just try to erase part of the chin right here just to blend this 
better with the balloon. Okay, and also I need to make balloon a little bit darker. So I will go right here, create curves adjustment layer. And also I want to copy this mask right here. To do that, just press and hold Alt or Option key on a Mac, drag, drop, click yes, and here it is. Now I want to make balloon darker. You can see it's pretty beautiful. Maybe to go to luminosity blending mode, not to mess with the colors, just with the lights and make highlight highlights darker and perfect as you can see perfect blend i will go right here to the head and i can just oops remove a few parts here and there but we have a balloon right there and also go back to human saturation and just try to colorize this part too because i don't want this pinkish tint at all so This, this is pretty cool. All right, and now let's get rid of the balloon. That's it. So to do that, I will go back to the body, actually all the way up, create a new layer. This is balloon remover. Something like that, it doesn't matter. I will just sample this color right here. Really big brush and just paint with 100% opacity, just paint here, then sample this color, paint here, this color, paint here, and this is basically it. As you can see, we removed the balloon, we have the head, like it's really cool balloon. Also what we can do right here is to create another, mm, let's see, maybe vibrance of color adjustment layer and copy the mask again and make let me see if this will work make everything a little bit more vibrant and now actually, actually i will invert everything because i just want to apply it to this small part right here maybe with 20 percent opacity i just want to add a little bit more vibrance right there there are so many ways i can do it i will not waste too much time for that but this is just an option and this is pretty cool guys also i did to the rest of the image that i don't want and uh, let me see yeah i need to invert everything put it with black and go back and just paint this part with white sorry for trouble oh, okay this is pretty cool for now and now we need to decide what we will do for the neck there's so many things, creative things that you can do. The easiest way is just to cut an X straight for straight uh, plain cut, and that's it. The other thing is to maybe uh, tie the neck into this balloon knot, like the, the other part of the body is a big balloon. And another thing is to put something in it or whatever. Your imagination is the limit. So I will just do a few quickly two things here, just to give you guys some ideas and then you can do whatever you want with your own photos. So the easiest thing, as I already said, is to go and just cut a neck with this elliptical marquee tool. Go like this and just go like, create something like that. Let me see. I will create a new layer and fill this layer with the color that I will sample from here. Okay, fill it with that color. Control or Command T and I will just maybe put it a little bit down and here I will tilt it. Again, Control or Command T, I will tilt it more. Like that and also I will go here and sample this color and just fill fill this okay and go back push it in a little bit and this is pretty cool now we just need to paint some shadows here so i will create a new layer and uh, clip it to affect only this plain cut layer and this is color this is color and what i will do here i will go with really soft round brush and i will sample this dark color right there and I will go with 20% opacity and just slowly, or even 10% opacity, and just slowly paint it right there. 
like this. And also right here, I will add a little bit more highlights. So pretty much, pretty much like this. Okay, this is quick job. It will work. This is one of the ways how you can how you can do this. And of course, if you want to even make it better, then you need to go right here to the plane cut, create a layer mask and make this. Let me show really quickly. Like it's curve because of this part of the neck. So let's go like that. This is like a dent and this is much better. And of course you can paint it a little bit better, blah, blah, blah. It's whatever you want to do it. However you want to do it. It's your choice. I'm just giving you guys some ideas. This is one way. Another way is if you don't want to go with this, you can go with something like this. Choose some kind of balloon. I will go with this one. I will just make a selection of balloon and this not right here and this this part. Okay, this will be a sloppy job because I don't want to invest much time here, but something like that. I will copy it, go back, paste it right here at the top of everything or go back here. This is a little bit smaller balloon, so but I think it will it will do the job. So it needs to be right there. Let's go and hide this. Lower the opacity to see what we are doing. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller balloon. I want this to be bigger. Like that. And also what we can do. We can put it somewhere here. Press enter, go back with the opacity, go to filter and liquefy. And here we can play and modify the balloon however you want, as you can see. But also I want to go here and show backdrop to see what I'm doing. But I want I don't want to see the balloon that was before, so I want to choose a layer. I will go with maybe body, yeah, with a body layer. And I should move balloon a little bit down, but I will do that in a few moments. I will go out of the liquify go back in if I need it so maybe move this a little bit down and by changing the size of the brush I'm changing what I'm doing here if you're not familiar with the liquify tool I have a full tutorial dedicated just on liquify you can check it on the link right here okay so I will leave it for now like this press ok and uh, go with the opacity a little bit down move the balloon right here somewhere here maybe this will work who knows so let's go and create a layer mask i'm holding alt or option key to create a black layer mask and now i will paint only the parts that i want to be visible here you can see i'm missing part of the balloon that's because i didn't select it properly but for this example and for the sake of the tutorial i don't care too much so I will go back with the soft brush and I will just blend this a bit better. Okay, then invert and again, maybe 20% opacity, blend this better. And what we need to do here is to change, change the color of the balloon again to match the body. So. We can go again with a similar procedure, if not the same, go to Q and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to affect only this, colorize it, and it's almost done. What we need to do is to basically make it a bit darker, maybe 15. Let's go like that and let's create again curves adjustment layer put it in luminosity blending mode but i want to clip to this balloon down there and let me see this is cool invert the mask control command i and go with the brush and just paint i'm using 20 percent opacity 
just paint this part maybe 10% opacity even just add those curves here and there and this is easy really easy but you just need to invest a little bit of the time and to make this a little bit better so I will not bother too much with this guys but I'm just showing you what oops I need black brush 100% opacity what you can do if you want to be creative so this is another version maybe to match the color a little bit better so let me see here like that and something mm -hmm. something like this let's go back here and this is a little bit transparent so I want to bring back this part here with a soft brush 10% opacity yeah and also we need to make this part a little bit darker also what we can do we can create a new layer clip it only to affect that and just use a brush and clip uh, sample this color and just paint paint with that color so this is another cool way how we can do this so as you can see it's a little bit creepy definitely it's a little bit creepy but I feel it'll do the job especially from distance maybe this this color right here and paint right here at the back <laughs> it's it's definitely creepy like a balloon part what we can do now let me show this is wait where is this is everything the neck now this is balloon 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 um this is crazy so this here i will group this and this is balloon neck this is balloon neck this is one version this is another version this is just plain cut neck Okay, so we have two versions. Tell me guys, please down there in the comment section, do you prefer the balloon neck or just plain cut neck? What do you prefer better? What looks less creepy? This is like a regular doll that you just took off the head. Okay, what we can do here to the, the balloon neck, we can actually do something we can merge with the body select body and balloon neck and press ctrl or command j and then ctrl or command e to go in totally new layer with everything then we can go to filter and liquify now let me show you. we can move everything a little bit more down so maybe i don't want to backdrop so maybe where is it i just want to freeze these parts <laughs> this is fun guys but it's so creepy I just want to freeze this thing and just move everything a little bit down. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, so something like this. Let's just smooth this a little bit. Okay, I will press OK. Let's see. Boing, 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 boing. Bang, bang, bang. It's, it's, it's crazy sorry guys this is so fun it's crazy and this is it so I don't know I don't know if I should go with uh, this version or 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 this version I think this is less creepy I'm not sure I think this is definitely less creepy version but if you want it you can go with this version so let's go with this version all the way up oh no I cannot because of balloons so I can go with this version here and this is yeah one two one two I don't know <laughs> I don't know I still don't know it doesn't matter I will go with this version yeah I will go with this version merge everything together with shift ctrl alt shift command option e on a mac go with a filter camera 
filter right there and I will just make everything a little bit more bluish and that's it. So here what I like to do, let's go and add vignetting, a little bit of vignetting, feather it. All right, so now let's go and uh, add a little bit of contrast. Also, I want to go the split toning and to the brighter parts, I want to add a little bit of the bluish tone, as you can see. Yeah, definitely. And I just want to make everything more vibrant. Nothing special, just to add a little bit more life to it and maybe to open the shadows a bit and I don't want to add clarity or these things, I just want to sharpen it a bit like this and this is it, let me show you before and after just a little bit more life in it, let's press OK and that's basically it guys, this is before, this is after, what we can do, we can change the version to this one, merge everything together and just go filter and just repeat the filter like this and now I have two versions, before and after I'm still not sure which version is better, so let's put one beside other, just for fun. Let's scrub this. Okay, hmm. I don't know. Please, guys, let me know. Decide down there in the comment section which one do you like better. Are both creepy, or is one less creepy than the other? I'm not sure. Alright guys, so that's it for today, I really hope that you liked this episode, it was a completely silly episode but still you can learn a lot of things out of this one and apply this to something fun and something creative on your own images and also guys if you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode please leave me down there in the comment section below. For my Patreon friends, you can get this PSD file at the Patreon, you already know the drill. If you're not familiar with the Patreon, it's basically a website where you guys can support this channel and me as a creator and in return get some things like PSD files and so on. You can check it out on a link down there in the description. Also guys, if you want to take your photo manipulations on another level and make something really cool and awesome, I have a full course, 4 hour course, photo manipulation essentials, again you can check it out on the link down there in the description. Have fun experiment and see you in my next fun tutorial. Bye bye.